Hey, I'm Truman with Park Tool. Calvin with Park Tool. In this video, it's gonna be a little bit different. We're not talking about any of our products. Well, maybe one of them. Maybe it's two of them. And to be about tension. Can you feel the tension, Truman? I can't handle the tension. It's Calvin. hard to see the tension. We're gonna help you visualize the tension to understand the dynamics of wheels. It's really good. Wheelie, wheelie good. Now. We all, we hope, have the, the TM1 tension tool. You can measure it. You can measure the actual tension. You've seen that. You may have seen our WTA chart. You can make pretty pictures and, or they can be fun. But remember, even though we love spinning a wheel on the stand and it looks so beautiful, we appreciate it. This isn't what wheels are for, Truman. No, the reality is the purpose of the wheel is for riding. It's going to go out. It's going to be in a dynamic situation. It's going to encounter forces. But what happens when those forces are acted upon this wheel? Something's going on inside this dynamic product here. And all these tensions, they can change. So what we're going to do is use the TM1 with the WTA to get a, a visual representation so we get an appreciation and an understanding of what goes on in a wheel. What's the first thing that the first situation a bike wheel encounters, Calvin? Well, we typically collect the money. We make sure the credit card's clear. <laughs> and it's gonna roll out the door. The customer just sits on the bike and rolls along. But for our purposes, again, check out the WTA app. If you haven't seen it, you can see the link down in our, our below, we can see uh, how to use this tool. We're gonna to assume you've, you've seen that part. And this is the basic wheel that we've started with. Uh, it's just a tension. This is just the tension here. This is this, this is this exact wheel. We took some measurements yes. earlier. We pre-cooked the lasagna a little bit. Yep, so we're all numbered here. But that's not a perfect wheel. Does it need to be? Nope. So it's true. It's straight. It's tight. Everything's wonderful. Let's get this thing out on the road and have it do some living. Go, go All right. ride it. Yep. All right. 18, 19. Keep it steady up there, Truman. Oh, I was just falling asleep here. Okay, yep, so we're getting our numbers all in. We're gonna see the dynamics. All we're doing is just sitting on the bike. Guy's not even pedaling. You ever notice that it kind of Flattens, see the tire kind of expands. I wonder what happens to the wheel. Let me finish these numbers and we're gonna have a look. Well, let's look at some numbers. Sitting on the sales floor, here's our beautiful wheel. Oh, looks nice. Yes, but our customer got on it and Ooh. we get changes. We got out here, we got up here. What, what exactly, so yeah, what's exactly going on here? Load on the bottom. You're loading that wheel on the bottom. That's where it's touching the ground. It tire flexes and the rim flexes. We drop tension here, but that's a closed hoop. It's gotta go somewhere. We're increasing here. So that loss of tension here, it's gonna bounce out somewhere. But remember, this is just a flash in a moment. It's going around. So this around. goes around. How many times does this go around in like say a mile, Calvin. A lot. We look at our rollout, we divide that, we do all those math equations. I think it's close to 738 rings a bell. Oh my gosh. What that's, is that? That's 7,000, 73,000 times in a century. Man, so what does that mean? Every time that goes around, this spoke is gonna relax, tighten, relax, tighten. It's called a stress cycle. Mm -hmm. And that causes fatigue? It does, it does. So when you take steel and it's just static in the beautiful chewing stand, it can sit there forever. But that tight loose, tight loose, tight loose, tight loose, there is a limit to what they can do and you're adding to it every time that wheel goes around. And you're just sitting on the bike, yeah. that's cool. Rolling, rolling. Yeah. When we, we ride a bike, we actually do something and it is... You pedal. Pedal. And we also... Braking, it, it's, it's like a stress relief section, no, isn't it's, it? It's anti-going, so it must be. Braking's gonna be interesting. Let's look at the going, then we'll talk about the slowing. Time to jam on the pedals. There we go. So we've got our rider going up a hill, chain's tight here, the wattage is on. Let's see what's going on in the wheel. So I start again, and I 
measure here, continue on, I continue on, 14, all the way around, and then let's see what happens when the load is on. Now let's see what happens. It was on the floor. We saw uh, the, the load, the radio load. We were riding, we went from static to a beautiful star. Oh boy. That is insane. That is some kind of fun. But yes. what is going on here? What is this? Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Mr. Powerhouse here. Yeah, apparently we got these. So these are going up in press tension and so are these, but then every other one is going down, down in tension. tension. But it's really strange, the very bottom ones are even a bigger change. Wait a minute, you're also sitting on it. Compounding these forces. That's you're, you're, right. You're taking into account multiple forces. Two at forces once. going on, but we have our beautiful wheel here to talk about this. So pedaling, we've got Truman's big legs cranking this way. So the white spokes we can see, the hub's twisting. They wanna relax a little bit. Yeah. And these blue ones, they are trailing. They're being pulled forward. That's right. That's what's happening. <laughs> so remember our stress cycles? Mm -hmm. In pedaling, you're adding to that even more. But the opposite of going is slowing. We got our rotor. So we're, we're braking here. You are going to get that nice star pattern, but guess what's going to happen? Ooh, yeah, it's going to be the reverse of the other one. But braking forces can't be nearly as much as going forces. Oh, my legs are much, much more powerful than my braking. I can go zero to 30 faster than I can go 30 to zero, right? Your braking is always a higher load mm -hmm. than your accelerating. I don't care who, who you are. So the braking load's higher, but again, the star shape's gonna reverse, right? It is a little bit different when you're talking about rim brakes versus disc brakes when we're talking about this, these leading and trailing forces. Mm -hmm. So the rim, I'm transmitting through the rim, but on the disc, I'm transmitting or slowing through the spokes. Mm -hmm. That's the dynamic. So we've gone, we've waited, we've uh, slowed, we've pedaled, but let's see what happens when we're getting up out of that. Yeah. That, Bouncing around. You know, say you landed sideways yeah. and maybe to the point of burping your tire. Maybe or... you didn't mean to, maybe you meant to, but something's going on in the wheel. Let's have a look at it. Yep. All right, let's get this chain out of the way so we don't have any driving forces and we can get to some tighter spaces. And there we are. What this allows us is just to get to some spokes here because we're going to measure all around again going to be in a weird position like this. Beep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what we're doing, this is an impact as much as we can simulate. So you're riding around, you're going to be jumping like some of those cross riders <laughs> or burping the tire. So we're, we're loading, we're loading this wheel here and now let's get some numbers. We're going to get some numbers going around the wheel, recording them. This one's going to be interesting. Wait a minute. I think that's pretty close to zero tension. Let's see what this chart looks like. All right, so we've gone through a few different situations here of, of different forces on bikes. Um, so we kind of started it static. And the truing stand hasn't done anything. It's going nowhere. It looks pretty good. Then we're sitting on the bike, some radial loads and flattening on the bottom. Makes sense. Yeah. And then we hit up some uh, torsional. That was Both fun. This, we, we did the going, but then we also talked about the slowing. Now we're coming up in the air, which isn't bad, but coming down's fun. You what? come down sideways, this is what we can get. Oh, that's fun. That is a crazy looking that's face. That's a crazy oh, looking one. Dog? I, like it's, I, think, I think it's a penguin wearing gigantic goggles. Yes, yes, the big, big Oakleys. But what is interesting, your drive side, anytime it crosses the non-drive, Something weird's going on. Mm -hmm. But remember, this is just that moment in time. Bam, oh. Yeah, if you have a, a wheel that comes in and this is what the graph spits out, you know you've got some problems. Is that big problem? That's mm -hmm. probably a new wheel. But again, this thing, you think it's good? We're gonna look in a second, but first, yeah. what happened? So the drive side, it dropped. We saw that loose, loose spoke to zero. The non-drive was stressed over. We can see that going here but check out the craziness away from the zone. 
yeah. the whole wheel again connected. Connected. So Connectedness. when you look at these and all of them that we've taken, and in the chart you look at it, the average tension is with it's nominally the same tension overall. You're just displacing. Squeeze the it. balloon one point pops out another. So yep. that's a kind of fun. But that oh this wheel certainly trashed everything we've done here. Let's see here. Oh come on, that's going out the door. Everything's fine. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. Wow. That's awesome. Yeah. I think that was a pretty cool little walkthrough of how a uh, yeah. tension and a wheel and the dynamics of it. Again, oh. appreciate what a wheel goes through. Understand it helps you explain it to the users better. Mm -hmm. It can also help you repair it if you know what's what's going on. Yeah. Folks, they're not going to last forever. There's they're life seeing, cycles. They're seeing more cycles than maybe we really thought they were. Mm -hmm. All right. So yeah. get those wheels tight, but not too tight. And uh, thanks for joining us today. We hope you found some value in this content and we hope to see you very soon.